This video is for informational purposes only. There are risks to jailbreaking your iDevice and it does void your Apple warranty. So think before you act. Hey guys, Matt here from today's iPhone.com and welcome to another week of Jailbreak Tuesday. Let's get right to the news. Okay, so let's talk about the Untethered Jailbreak and its current status. Unfortunately, throughout the week there was no real new news, so there is no update on the Untethered Jailbreak, so we still don't have it. So a full Siri report has come out and it is called H1 Siri. The only issue with it is the fact that it uses Apple's code making it illegal and it actually also allows other users to actually take control over your device. So do not use it. It is a big security threat and the fact that it is illegal, just stay away from it. And some other good news actually came out this week. A program called iFaith came out. iFaith is a Windows only program but it does allow you to save your SSH blobs and downgrade in iOS 5. Woo! And finally, I just want to let you guys know that there is another jailbreak option out there for those looking to tether jailbreak, and that is called Acid Rain. I actually really like Acid Rain over Red Snow just because the UI of Acid Rain is very pleasing. At Acid Rain's initial release, there was a legal issue with its coding, but it has been fixed, and that problem is taken care of. Uh, it does not offer an untethered jailbreak for those thinking that this is another way. No, it is only tethered. And it's a new option for you guys. That's about it. And that's going to wrap up Jailbreak Tuesday for this week. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to stop by next week. Hopefully we'll have some new news on this Untethered Jailbreak. And if you guys would like to get in contact with me or stay up to date in real time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at HomemadeGeek. Or you can text me using iMessage. My email is homemadegeek at gmail.com. Thank you guys, and you guys have a great day. Peace.